What is immoral but not illegal? Predatory marriage except in Canada where it is a criminal offense. A woman married my elderly dad and abused time monsieur he was deaf. Had dementia and many health problems. But she wanted his assets and so drugged him to keep him with her till she had taken everything. Court case continuing. But what she did resulted in my father's death. Oh my fucking god that's horrendous. I am so sorry for your loss and what he had to go through. I cannot even imagine how someone can have as little regard for basic human decency as she did. Because Americans have the mindset of laws shouldn't protect people. It's your fault if you're scammed. That's why fake news is allowed. Telemarketers can freely do their BS. People can lie to you can face no punishment. But put a substances in your own body as a consenting adult. Asterisk asterisk send them to jail. Asterisk asterisk greater than but put a substances in your own body as a consenting adult. Send them to jail. It's only legal if a doctor scribbles on a pad. Cannabis. Pouring water on the movie theater seats in front of you to make sure you have a clear view. I just opened the app from my cinema. Buy the seats in front of me. Go to the payment menu and at the confirmation page just leave my phone open till the movie starts. Then cancel the payment. Whoa there Satan. Shitting in urinals. Worked at a McDonald's for a year and a half. Had this happen to me three times. Verb I know what we're gonna do today. Advertising that targets kids and tries to sell them junk food or just useless crap. Hey, Joe Camel was a beloved cartoon character. Not some big tobacco plan to get kids thinking smoking was cool. I had the Joe Camel playset and everything. And now I have emphysema. Having carpeted bathrooms. Not putting your shopping cart back where it belongs. Seriously. It takes 30 seconds max out of your day. Pressing all the buttons on the elevator right as you you get off. LMAO. I was in an elevator with this rude ass lady and I did that when I got out. I made a Christmas tree. Bestiality in some states edit my first award. Thanks a lot kind stranger. Jesus I looked up the law and some states only count bestiality as physical abuse. So if the animal isn't physically injured, it is legal. That's messed up. It's legal is a bit inaccurate when it's reasonable to believe that it wasn't explicitly criminalized because lawmakers never expected they would have to deal with it. Hiding your money in tax havens so you don't have to contribute to the country you live in and get benefits from raising prices on life-saving medicine. Oversimplified fact. In Canada, if the government needs a medication for some reason, they can take the chemical formula to any company they want and let them make it. And that is how Canadians pay 10% of what Americans pay at the pharmacy. Oh, and since all of the hospital staff work for the government, the government can decide how much surgery is going to be. But we never find out what that price is. Because the government pays for it through our taxes. Yeah, but screw that, because then there's a chance that my tax dollars would go towards the life-saving treatment of an immigrant, or a poor person, or God forbid a poor immigrant. And fuck that, I'd rather take my chances, and just hope I don't end up with any sort of severe problem that leaves me crippled, or worse, in crippling debt. Having an affair, it is in the military. Now they don't charge people with it very often, usually only to people that did something else too, but it can get you a year in confinement and a dishonorable discharge. Poor treatment of any sort of customer service worker. I understand why some people get frustrated or upset depending on the situation. It's understandable, but you can control your reaction. Most of us really do want it all to go smoothly and quickly too. Edit. Thanks to all the people who are understanding and patient. Selling poor quality products or basically junk targeted at kids. Selling junk period. With the exception of motor vehicles. Stuff today has lower build quality than it did in days before. My grandmother had the same sofa for more than 30 years. It went to Value Village when she moved out of her house. In that time. We have had to replace our couch four times. 
and that is after the first one lasted 10 years. Also depends on price. There's a lot more cheaper stuff now because it's possible to produce it cheaper. But a lot of expensive brands are still decent. I'd actually like to see direct comparisons using inflation-adjusted prices. Maybe relative quality has actually fallen. But I'm not too sure about that. Okay let's say you are a very very rich CEO okay. Then you go off and you buy the Mona Lisa. Then you take it home cut it up and then serve it with a glass of wine. It would not be illegal to eat the Mona Lisa but it would probably not be a very nice thing to do. What is even going on in that head of yours eating the Mona Lisa? Are you feeling okay? How can you not admire a brain that created? He stole that idea from somewhere, where someone said free market baby. Colorado just added a law in 2019 that made it a sex offense to knowingly make a stranger have contact with your seminal fluid, which begs the question of why that specific subsection was added, and who came on the back of a stranger's hair on the bus. It's not illegal, it's just frowned upon, like masturbating on an airplane. At least not before 9-11 then everyone got so sensitive thanks a lot bin Laden. Um I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Edit. I guess nobody realized that I'm just continuing the hangover reference. It's called hijacking. Apparently, insider trading if you're a US senator or family member of one. People who chew with their mouth open. Taking photos and videos of normal everyday people about their business just to mock them on the internet. I don't mean getting evidence of criminal behavior or people being awful and rude. Just to clarify, bragging about a murder you committed that you've already been legally acquitted of USA. Asterisk if I did it, asterisk. Gerrymandering. Lobbying. Literally legalized corruption. I will give you things if you do what I want you to do. The rest of the world calls this corruption. Civil asset forfeiture. Running for any public office and lying about almost anything to win. Lying about and or sabotaging your own birth control to baby trap for cash and prizes. In some jurisdictions that is considered as a form of rape. Vampires? Edit. Read this as immortal, so probably not vampires. Technically, they would be cannibals. Doing the deed with your best friend's mother. That is illegal. The bro code does not allow this. I read that as mother's best friend and am now confused as to which is worse. Cutting in line. Recruiting people to join the Church of Scientology. For profit prisons. For profit healthcare. Calling a toddler an asshole. Call me immoral all you want, that little prick deserved it. My toddler emptied a container of baby powder all over the living room this week and laughed it. The devastation. I love him but that kid's s little asshole sometimes. Don't even get me started on throne diapers. He's a good kid. Very sweet hearted. But his sense of humor is like mine and I'm also an asshole. I totally understand why he thinks these things are funny. But yeah, I stick with my previous assertion. I call him a little shit endearingly and it makes him laugh more. Smoking and drinking while pregnant. Owning a company. Paying yourself millions of dollars a month. Whilst the people who work their asses off for you are struggling to feed themselves and put gas in. Their car. Privatizing water. Polluting water also. Clipping dog's ears and tails. Edit and declawing cats absolutely. Your employer stealing wages, but if you steal from your employer then it's illegal. Wage theft is illegal. Employers just get away with it because victims don't realize it's illegal. Or don't want to risk their jobs pursuing it. Your boss cannot be arrested in the state of NY for wage theft and if you accuse him of wage theft. You have to sue them to get compensation. States have departments of labor that can aid wage theft victims in recovering lost wages. In some cases, that may also include punitive damages. I've heard of employers being required to pay up to 3x back. While it seems like individual bosses can't get arrested, criminal charges can be filed against the company itself, resulting in fines and restrictions on their business. Having kids if you're not rich and not fully prepared mentally and financially to have a child and 
Have them grow up in a safe environment. You don't need to be rich but I agree with everything else. That makes me mad. Children aren't something required in life for every person. And they don't ask to be born. If someone is poor and has children but actually tries to take care of them, then that's different. But there are those in a bad situation, such as being homeless or drug addled, who consciously decide to subject their children to these lifestyles and refuse to change. If you, not you, op, want to ruin your life, then go ahead, but don't ruin the lives of innocent children because of selfishness. So it would be morally sound for everyone in ghettos to not have kids. If you give folks the option, free birth control, good access to abortion, good education, then their birth rate goes way down. No coercion required to massively cut the number of children born into bad circumstances. Chasing a black jogger with guns to make a citizen's arrest. Mobile game ads. Adultery. Adultery was illegal. Packaging up your troublesome investments and selling them to your customers. Looking at you Goldman Sachs. You immoral pieces of shit. Cannibalism. Really? Cannibalism is actually legal with permission of course. Hence why people are allowed to eat the placenta without being arrested. Placenta counts as cannibalism. I mean, I guess it is human tissue. But it doesn't seem like part of a person. I think it would be more like eating nails or hair. And I don't think you'd call cats cannibals for licking their fur. Like, sure it came from a person. But it just seems like a different category in my mind. Still gross regardless though. It depends. If you consider cannibalism eating anything meat-based then that could count. Factory farming. Labor Day is only free for white-collar workers. Pregnant people rarely get paid leave in the USA. Fast food workers are often forced to work while sick and don't get paid sick leave or holidays. The cost of living rises against minimum wage. The USA funnels money into war instead of into its own country. So on, TLDR, the USA. Multi-level marketing schemes where people have to pay in significant money to shill shitty products where only like the top 1 to 10% of people actually make any money. Not paying full-time employees a living wage. Voting for the political candidate I don't like. That's very immoral, because any candidate I don't like is Hitler. And it's very wrong to vote for Hitler. You're saying we shouldn't vote for the guy who killed Hitler. Okay, Nazi. Writing, the Chamber of Secrets has been opened enemies of the air. Beware, on a tree with, sort of, stolen pink puffy paint on a tree at a park at summer camp at 7 years old. We would have used the fake blood but we ran out because we squirted it in random places everywhere. And there wasn't another tube. Actually that might be partially illegal nobody arrest me. Ruining the lives of poor people. You can be a landlord. See a family struggling then. When the right time comes. Jack up the rent by 300 pounds and there's nothing they can do. You can work at the dole. Benefits. Social security. Office. See someone trying hard to find a job. Skinny as hell. Barely conscious because they just can't afford to eat and pay bills. And just simply say, we believe you're not trying. We're terminating your climate sure. And that's it. That person is either homeless or dead or both. They could go home and slit their throat or go on a rampage and kill a good few innocent people. All because, instead of acting a decent person, you just wanted money. You wanted blood out of a stone. And to do that, you smashed open the skull of a penniless chump with it. And it's never illegal to do. It's immoral. But morals don't make you money. God I agree with this so fucking hard. My mom is on a form of disability where she's required to have her social worker swing by once a month just to check everything out and make sure all is well. Making sure her appliances work safely. Making sure there's no building hazards that need to be fixed, etc. Well, years ago, there was a social worker who just outright did not like my mother. Every month she'd come to my mom's house, see that everything is how it ought to be, and get almost offended that there was nothing to terminate my mom's claim for. One day, 
She showed up and was so hellbent on fucking my mom's life up that she started searching. No permission, no warrant, no right to do so but this bitch searched every drawer and potential hiding spot in my mom's house with no consequences. What did she find? A single can of beer in the back of the fridge. And she somehow twisted that in such a way that she got my mom dragged away and put into a rehab. Where we couldn't visit her for asterisk eight fucking months asterisk. I'm not gonna keep rambling in your inbox but gd the system is evil. That is not the kind of thing I expected from the UK. Oh lord I'm sorry. I should have clarified I'm actually in the US. This was in upstate New York around 2009-ish. Sorry for the confusion. I feel this. The people at the dole offices treat you like a child. They expect you to live off of 150 pounds a month. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.